Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belt, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Last time we, well, found a way past a very, very big and angry fish. A very big carp, if you remember that. We're still at the, uh, well, what I think is a fountainhead palace. I'm assuming it is, because there's lots of water all around. And apparently it drives you crazy, but there's also these ministers in here. And I don't know what these guys are doing. Seems like they're feeding on something. They are definitely feeding on other people of their own kind. Because they all have that, those tentacles on their feet. Should I attack these guys? I think I should probably. Seems they stopped eating. There we go. There we go is going from one to the next and I want to just check out this place first before we move on because I have a few other ideas what we can do but since we made our way past that fish last time I didn't want to end that with a cliffhanger there's multiples of those I don't know wedding beds and there's a big chest over here which usually houses an interesting item again big bag a gourd seed okay Okay. Okay, okay. It's nothing happening when we're standing in one of those, but opening up the door leads us to another hmm, a higher area through the house, which is fine, I guess. We could go across the trees. I'm just going to check out the path ahead. Normally, because there's like water everywhere as well, and there's actually items in the water. I'm just gonna check this out. And the water seems to be blocked by this rock formation as well. Just gonna grab this item. Oh. Where is that coming from? Ooh. What's this? White geckos. I don't know what they're doing exactly. Okay. There we go. Surfing the gecko, taking it out. It's really, really quiet in here. Which, of course, fits the uh, quiet nature of this area, but... Anything behind the waterfall? Nothing? Okay. Now we're going to continue up this lovely area. So it seems the trees are probably the best way to go up here. I wonder how other people move up here. Because... It doesn't seem like anybody can actually go through here the proper way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm running. Don't know if I should be running. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. I think I fell down. Where the hell did I even go? Heal up. And I jumped down again. I jumped down again. Okay, this area is pretty, pretty small. I'm just gonna move a bit. And shock. And I jumped off again. There we go, back up. And I'm down. This area sucks to fight in. And there's three of them. Oh, where the hell did that come from? Ah, we died. Okay. That's uh, at least one too many. What happens if I go over here first? So there's that guy. That's... Aha! That's... This guy is just throwing stuff at me. Yeah, he's stuck in a stun lock there. And that blow. Don't fall off, please. Okay, so now we can sneak. I think they haven't seen me yet. And there's another sculptor's idol over there. I... Technically, don't need to kill them even if that is the case. So I'm just gonna move up slowly. 
and get this item. Another dragon's blood droplet, that's always handy. If we need to get rid of some dragon rods, it's going to be really, really handy. We're getting really high up here. Yeah, we're right next to those stone pillars. So let's commune with this. And yeah, we don't really need to do anything here. I lost my money already, so no biggie, no biggie. Is there anything I can see from up here? Because I know they like to hide pathways to the sides. I can get up here. Although that doesn't really help us. It doesn't really help us. So further up the stairs. Oh god. There's definitely something firing lightning at us. And this is the opening to a cave. But, okay. Oh, is this Tomoe? Because Tomoe was a woman. Hello. Oh god. Tomoe she seems to be dead. If that is her. Why are we praying near a dead woman again? Is she okay? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Okay. Sekiro in first person. Uh, are we flying? I think we're flying. Yeah, we're definitely... Oh. We're gonna divide... Wow. Oh. It doesn't look all that divine, to be honest. A petal? Uh oh. Oh. What are you? Are you... He's not gonna be friendly, is he? That looks horrifying. Oh god, this is a boss. All dragons of the tree. Dragons. Oh god. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna start... Oh wow, they're spreading stuff. We're actually killing... Killing them, but... Oh, what's happening? Okay. And that does... What exactly? Okay, let's just kill a few of them then. Let's get out. These guys don't seem to be... Oh, I think they're praying again. Is that...? Yeah, that's the praying again. Should probably keep an eye on them. There we go. They do keep... Oh, what? What the hell are you? Why is there this guy? I don't know if these guys actually take away health or no. Oh, that guy's alone. Oh, there's more trees where that came from. There we go. Let's just kill a few of them. Oh my god. Okay. It doesn't seem to be that hard. We're almost. I don't think we're almost. Oh, go, 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 go. Just run away. Oh, 
Oh, they're starting to circle me. Let's just move away. There's only a few light ones anymore. Just gonna move away. I think they're all dead. Yeah. Okay, we get another cinematic. I'm guessing that wasn't it. Because I didn't take a single hit. Didn't seem that hard. And that should probably just shut up. Um. Okay. It's blooming. Uh oh. Ooh, Nelly. That was a lightning strike. And what just landed? I hope I'm not finishing this game just yet, because I have a lot of stuff I wanted to do. Oh. Okay. That is one big ass dragon. Look at that. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I counted it. Great. Okay, I think I need to be in midair at all times. Ow! And three. And strike it back. Okay. Okay, so I need to make my way back to the front then. Oof. Okay. That was a miss. And hit it. I think I got hit as well, but... If I heal up. Just gonna swap from one to the next. And strike him back. Oh god, what's it doing? Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna pull back again. Okay, so as long as I can... Keep going to the sides, keep going to the sides, keep going to the sides. And then there's one more tree active now. Didn't get hit by lightning just yet. Is this one? Yeah, this one struck by lightning. There we go. Oh no, the trees are gone. Oh, look at the music. Music swelling. Oh. Left. 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 And then turn back. The other side. Ooh, Jesus. One. Two. Three. Do I need to get close or something? Ow. I'm just gonna heal up. Oh, there's the trees again. If I go up and up. This one. Oh, wow. What the hell is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, do I need to grab it somehow? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna have to finish it off now. Here I go, here I go, here I go, in the face with a mortal blade! Oh, This is sad. This is really sad. Gracious gift of tears. Um... Poor dragon. Okay, okay. With the lightning reversal that was actually pretty easy. Memory Divine Dragon. 
The Divine Dragon, Ancient Deity of the Ever Blossom. That was a cool boss fight, but more of a gimmicky boss fight than anything else. And the Divine Dragon's Tears. Tears received from the Divine Dragon. I think I killed it. The gracious gift of tears can only be granted by the mortal blade. The body of the Divine Dragon is eternal, and its tears, once shed, will maintain their form and moisture in perpetuity. Should one of the dragon's heritage partake of the dragon's tears, the immortal severance will be reified. Okay. But now Emma is next to... Is that Ishin himself? I'm just gonna grab this sculpt this idol real quickly. Rest at it. And get the attack power boost. Like this. The Divine Dragon of the Everblossom came from the West long ago, eventually making its way to this land. Some parts of Ashina are exceedingly old. Water coursing through her ancient rocks and soil allowed the dragon to take a root. Because yeah, it looked like a dragon, but also part of a tree. Which was a really cool design, but... What the hell has happened here now? Let's have a little chat with... Yeah, he actually is holding his sword. Lord Ishin, what happened? Lord Ishin has succumbed to his illness and passed away. I, I see. I'm sure you sensed it. The central forces have taken this opportunity to attack the castle. And the divine heir? Here. The secret passage passage key. The key to the secret passage that leads out of Ashina Castle. The secret passage can be found at the end of the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. So that's where we started the game. Kuro has escaped the castle through this passage and the wolf looks to join him there. This key. My lord has escaped the castle through the secret passage? Yes, Master Wolf. The secret passage can be found along the moat in the Ashina Reservoir. Not far from the Moonview Tower. Lord Kuro escaped the castle through that secret passage and should be waiting for you in the Silvergrass Field. Understood. The Nightjar have left smoke signals on the roofs under Lord Ishin's orders. The smoke should lead the way to Lord Kuro. Okay, but something's wrong here. Why has he died with a sword in his hands? That doesn't make sense. Lord Kuro escaped the castle. The secret path. He's okay, okay, I okay, okay. No. For the time being, I will remain by Lord Ishin's side. Understood. Mm. Did Ishin say something? Lord Ishin entrusted me with something. I was told to give it to you, but it appears you aren't ready for it just yet. I will give it to you once you have mastered a secret technique. Oh. Understood. Okay. Um. Let's give her the court seat so I can increase my number of uh, healing thingies. Don't have any more. Could give her a drink, but I'm not gonna do that. Please, go to Lord Kuro. Okay. So what's this? Cause this this wasn't here either, right? What's this? This is wait. I can't destroy it because of the the fact that I can't pull out my sword here. But what is that? That doesn't make sense. There's something here. Mm. This is annoying. So the window is also closed. I don't think I can open it up again now. So it's forcing me down a certain path. Um, there's a lot of things I want to check out though. This is also closed off. And I'm guessing I won't be able to travel then. Oh, I can't. No. No, I can only... Tra Ooh, there's a few things that are actually locked off now. I can't go anywhere in the Ashina outskirts or Ashina castle, but I can go to the dilapidated temple and everything outside of that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Should probably do what the game tells me to do, but I'm gonna just check out this passageway. Yeah, that is open. So we can still go through here. Now, what is stopping me from using the pathway out of the dilapidated temple into the the reservoir itself? Okay. Well, this is a problem. Well, we need to do it ourselves. Where did the sculptor go? Uh, the sculptor is gone. So I can do all this myself, which is fine, but... 
You know what? I'm just gonna head out the normal way. I wanna see what changed. Because I feel like a lot has changed. Maybe talk to this guy first, because he's still here. So, it's finally begun. Ishinashin has gone, and the Central Forces have launched one hell of an invasion. The Ashina are likely finished now. Maybe it's time I wrapped up here, too. Any more business with me, friend? Yeah, I want to check out your inventory one more time then, since you're leaving. Um, he still has all the scrap iron. Might as well buy one of those, because I still need it. And the Viking Fetty, but yeah. It's fine, I can buy that somewhere else as well. Anything else to say? Oh, uh, if you're looking for the sculptor, yeah, he's gone. He stumbled off muttering something about the flames. I think he was heading towards the battlefield. But where he went and why he went, there's none of my business. So he went towards the battlefield. Uh, if you're, he's, okay, so he went towards the battlefield. So that's interesting information at least. Um, the one thing I wanted to check out this episode was the... Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, right, if I missed any items, I could get them here, right? I never checked this out. Uh, a prayer bead. But why do I need to spend money on it? There's a prayer bead here, but yeah, okay. Uh, hi, Hanbei. Never really checked you out anymore after uh, after we've done everything, but... First things first, I want to check something out first. So while we're getting attacked by the central forces, we never checked out the other way over here, because... This woman was actually talking about something else, so let's talk to her again. If it's dried fruit you're after, <sighs> become a trainer of monkeys, make the monkey dance, until be eaten. I <laughs> so sweet. If it's dried fruit you're after, Become a trainer of monkeys. Make the monkey dance, and he'll be eaten. Mm. Make a monkey dance? What does it mean? So there's a few things that that can mean, I think. So, we... Because this... I think I know what this is, right? This is the, the sunken valley. So if we go down... Because we can actually go down here. Let's grab that, Mibo Balloon of Soul. Make the monkey dance and he'll be eaten. So either we can use the ninjutsu, the puppeteer ninjutsu, to get a monkey to actually react to what we're doing. Or we need to give them those persimmons, because she's talking about so sweet, because I think this, uh, ready to eat. But what happens if we use that? I think we just heal off, right? Yeah, allows one to recover posture even when attacking. Particularly nutritious, but yeah. I'm just gonna... Just gonna leave that there for now. Because I think if I can... Can I drop down here? Oh god! I didn't die, did I? I landed, but... For some reason... I can go over here. And then this one. Ah, okay, so it has a, a fixed path. This is a poison pit, but it's not the same poison pit we saw before, because there's item in the middle, items in the middle of it, and I'm pretty sure I would have picked those up. What is this? So this is even lower than the Guardian Ape's watering hole. I'm just going to get the solid ground. Crap. Is this bad? Yeah, of course it's bad. Yeah, no gunpowder. Just gonna move forward. That's a monkey skeleton, at least. This is weird. It's really weird. And they're talking. The woman was talking about dried fruit, and we know that the fruit she mentions is actually the heart of the. Well, at least the 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 live fruit was the heart of the snake we killed. So either there is a dead snake in here, or there is a live snake in here, and it's just another snake again. Um, there we go. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's more statues. What's that? More monkeys? Okay. Oh, my God. 
Oh, and I jumped, but yeah, I attacked first and then I jumped, so yeah, I died to a monkey. Oh, oh, god. Just gonna heal. He's actually blocking. He's blocking to regain his posture. That was interesting. Got yellow gunpowder from that with a pop up, which usually means that that's a specific, hmm, specific enemy that doesn't come back. Well, I kind of lost where I went, so I think I came from over there. What else? So we still have the ninjutsu equipped. So I'm gonna have to remember that. There we go. And this is another memorial mob. Okay. What does this guy sell? And where the hell are we? We did get the trophy already for getting all the areas, travel to all the areas, but that doesn't mean we have found every side area though. To purchase an offering. Another one. Where you find the departed, you find the memorial mob. But he Even seems really deceased. places where people simply drift along. <laughs> Go ahead, buy an offering. Okay. Toxic memorial mob. Seems pretty straightforward. I don't have a lot of pallets. He does sell the green mossy gourd, so which is the poison gourd, which might be something, but... Hey, you there, don't go into that cave up ahead. Inside is an old shrine where the serpent god dwells, and if the serpent god swallows you, you can't buy any more offerings now, can you? <laughs> So the serpent gold, but is that the same snake I already killed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the cave up ahead. Um, so there either is another snake or there's not, and I don't have to worry about anything. We still have seven gourds, we don't have much to lose. So let's just go down. Okay. That smoke usually means headless. And I'm not really equipped for a headless right now because I have no divine confetti. Oh god. There's gonna be another snake in here. Oh god! What? 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 What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Was there something moving? Oh, wow! There's a... Oh. There's something in the wall. There's a wall ghost! Come on. Get over here, you wall ghost. Get out of here. Okay. So there's officially people in the walls. That's gonna be annoying. That's definitely gonna be annoying. Okay, now I need to be scared of walls. This is not normal. At least I can death blow these geckos. There we go. I think there were three. Weren't there three? Yeah, there were, there's one. There's one. No poison for me. I don't want to get poisoned. There we go. There we go. Pull our health back. Okay. Okay. There's definitely another monkey. Uh, monkey? Snake. Snake. The big thing. I know there was a big monkey before, but there's another snake here. God damn it. Oh... Gold. Okay. Okay. Don't step on the bones. Oh god. Mm. I'm 
I have a bit of poop in my pants. Oh yeah, okay, fuck it. Then I'm poisoned. Then I'm poisoned. I don't care if I'm poisoned. You know what? Um, let's get let's get a bit of an antidote. Ready? There we go. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Ooh, yeah. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. You're more of a nuisance than anything else. Oh, cold. Just gonna do... Oh, no. There's another one on the walls. For fuck's sake. I could get up there, but... I don't see how that's gonna help. Yeah, the gecko's freaking out. This is... This snake is huge, by the way. So it is more of a path... Uh, I don't know where I came from. Don't even know where I came from anymore. So I think that way is where I came from, but... Can I actually go underneath this guy? Oh no, no, this is definitely the way I came. Okay, and then I went underneath. Get out of the walls, you dickhead. And I died. Yup. That, that was stupid. I thought the other one couldn't reach me. Yeah, okay, this one's down. This is a bit clumsy. Please hit him in the face, thank you. Okay, let's pick up the items. And now, now I have no idea. I can grab their items as well, which is more scrap magnetite. Does the game expect me to dive down? I'm supposing not. Okay, that worked. That worked, and there's a house in the background. It's definitely... Oh... Oh... Gold. There's a snake. And it's again a white one. Um, just gonna hug the wall then. How the hell... She was talking about a monkey. There's more stuff over there, but I don't think I can reach that. I I think there might be an area down there. I love how it doesn't see me right now. Or I need to jump underneath it. That might also be a solution. Run for it? Ooh, it's gonna hurt. Run! Oh no, it doesn't care, it doesn't care, it doesn't care, it doesn't care! No, okay. I could resurrect, but I think it's... No! Oh, there's a pot on the side. God damn it, I need to do hold that again. Didn't actually take me that long to get back to the snake, but what happens if I jump down here? Ooh. Oh, oh, that was a monkey. That was a monkey. I heard a monkey. Um. There's the monkey. So the monkey's freaking out. But... I need to make the monkey dance, so I think it's with the ninjutsu again then, right? There we go. Let's make the monkey dance. I think I need to go down the ledge again then. Just gonna go down the ledge. So now the monkey's dancing. There it goes. There it goes. I got the monkey. And it's distracted. Okay. And it closes off the house. Okay. We got the hint. Great. Now what is this? Um, okay. So there's a house all the way in this cave for some reason. And then along a lot of dead bodies. These are definitely not monkeys by the way. These are people. And a serpent shrine. There is actually dried blood. Don't see anything. 
the dried serpent viscera, so the dried heart, the dried persimmon-like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is a god of the land, and the heart is believed to be where one's spirit resides. While it looks much like a persimmon, in fact this is the red viscera of a gold. Apparently denizens of the sunken valley worship the organs believing they represent the deity themselves. Itself, but... So now we have... Oh wow, it looks like it's been pulled from the heart of the statue. So now we got... Oh, he looks really evil by the way. For some reason. So we got a live heart... Well, a fresh heart and a dried heart. How do we get out of here now? We need to hit him? Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit him again. Is it gonna break down the house? It doesn't seem to be breaking through any further than that. Is there anything behind the statue? This is probably where that um, hole underneath the house from way back actually leads out to. Because it sounds like the same noise that we saw before. Wait, is there... Oh, there's an item up there. But how do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. Got the way out of that. I don't know if we can kill that snake. Probably not, because that would leave us with two hearts. Then get us this item, more divine confetti. Okay. And now we're probably getting out again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're here again. The Ashina depths. But we couldn't really reach this area, I think. So I'm just gonna ignore everything in here. So that gives us the fresh heart and the dried heart. Still don't know what to do with those things. Safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. But I can't eat it, so... Okay. Let's commune with the Sculptor's Idol again. Rest at it. And now... I think I'm gonna go to the dilapidated temple. Because I feel like we've done most of the things we could do. I think there's one more area in the Fountainhead Palace that we could go a bit higher into. But otherwise I'm fresh out of ideas. I'm gonna go quickly to the Hirata Estate as well. So we can check out the merchant there. So we got nine scales and only two more items left to buy. So that is fine, I suppose. So let's just buy the Withered Red Gourd and the Divine Grass, which adds to our pile of Divine Grass, apparently. So that's that. Nothing else we can buy from him. Thank you for your kindness. Please bring more scales soon. But you don't have anything else, buddy. If you, if you... Oh, he kind of looks with his hand, he looks like one of the ministers, but wait, is he, does he turn into that giant carp? You have the aroma of the divine realm, and you've been so kind to me, very well. I give this to you now. Okay, a truly precious bait. This is truly precious bait. The bait has hair. You know it's something truly special. The Hirata noble in the spot is obsessed with thoughts of becoming a master. He who receives the scales of the carp becomes closer to a carp himself. I bestow onto you my secret treasure. Truly precious bait. Bring it to the great carp of the divine realm. Then... I will finally become a car and bestow upon you my secret treasure. So no, wait, he's the noble obsessed with... Because we found that old woman in the Harunaga. So we found the old woman in the, the divine... Well, not the divine realm, the Fountainhead Palace. That told us her father was actually obsessed with carps. With a great carp. And now we only need you to figure out... Where to use that bait? Bring it to the great carp of the divine realm. Do that, and I'll bestow upon you my secret treasure. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm used to waiting at this point. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay. So we need to use the bait. The question is where? Because I think the other bait actually says ring the bell and use the bait. So the bait says ring the bell, drop the bait. Just the kind of bait the master loves. But doesn't really give us a clue. Hmm. Let's get back to the Fountainhead Palace then. I want to try this out because I feel like we're getting closer to what we need to do there. Seems like another side quest we can finish up before we go back into Ashina itself. Wait, that old woman is on the on the roof in the middle of the lake. And there's actually an item over there that I missed as well. But, hello. Young man, do you happen to be going to the palace? Yes. If you are, you should take the back path. Nowadays, it's underwater. But there is a large cave you can take to get there. Only, I hear the great carp now sleeps there. Okay, we know about that. But, do you have anything else to share? Why are you helping me? The gates to the palace have been closed for a long time now. I have a very important task. I must tend to, but I couldn't possibly do it with this body of mine. Might you open the door to the palace, young man? Uh, I think I already did. Nowadays, and I have... Okay. A task she must complete. This is all completely by accident, but... Those look like bells, because I'm still looking for a bell. Need to ring a bell and drop the bait. Ring a bell and drop the bait. It's another house here. So the item on the tree was just a bulging coin purse, which is fine. But I don't think I ever went to that area over there. So final attempt at that is just trying to get over there. So I have that spawn point right next to those practicing leapfrog warriors there is actually is that a sculptor's idol seems to be light blue flames over there that seems to be another sculptor's idol but how do we get there so final plan i can't really find anything i pretty much killed everything that was alive in here i still haven't found the way to actually get across to over there which makes me think that i need to kill this thing um so let's just get some divine confetti going jump down that hurt actually let's see if i can't no, definitely no oh need to get out need to get out and with the umbrella i can actually defend from that oh ow Okay, where is he going? Where is he going? Just gonna grab the item now. He's just protecting that. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, everybody saw that? That was straight through the wall. <laughs> Fuck off, game. So, back at the Fountainhead Palace. This room with that munching. I think this is the other side of the palace. If I go and kill these guys really quickly just to get them out of the way and don't get in trouble because of these guys. Okay, try to hit that guy. There we go. I think we're able to open up these this door. Yeah. So this is the door on top of the palace grounds that we couldn't open before. So that gives us this. Shortcut kind of if you want to deal with the Shishiman warrior down there You can do it like that, but What else is there? Okay, I respawned here and for some reason they all died Wait, what the hell? So we're back at the Fountainhead Palace idol and that old woman seems to be chopping up nobles Hello? 
You tricked him all this time. Nobility this, and eternity that. Pretty lies to fool him. Give him back! Father! My father! Give him back! <laughs> Did she just keel over and die because of that? Because that was probably the gate she wanted me to open up. Um, hello? Okay. She killed all these dudes. So that was why this room was here. So that's new at least. I don't know if there's anything else. Because I feel like this bit was over really quickly. It was just to get to the dragon and there was even an extra... Um, an extra sculptor's idol there. But oh. Oh. Wait, I can get on top of the roof here. Otherwise I was going to end it by trying to kill another headless, but... This is... okay. Okay, okay, can I now? Oh, yes. No, yes, okay. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We can get on top of the roof. Fuck yes. Finally. Okay, so there's one more archer over there. I'm just going to switch over to the gourd again. And... Yep, there we go. I can actually reach it like that. Just gonna block the arrows. Because these guys usually don't have much. Okay. Oh, and he's watched over to a sword. Not gonna help him though. There we go. Okay, I'll be used to killing these now. Because they're actually not that hard if you get used to them. And they don't approach really quickly because there's one big guy over there. I'm guessing that's the woman's father. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Go go down. At least he can't hit me anymore. Okay, so now we're at the east side or the... Yeah, I think I can call this the east side of the Fountainhead Palace. And I'm hoping I'm going to find a bell here that I can use bait on. Because otherwise that's going to suck. This is not the area I needed. So there's the big one first. I'm going to go over here first. I think there's even a sculptor's idol next to him, if we saw that correctly. Yes, and there's a bell. There's a bell! Okay, this guy's friendly probably, because he's the guy in the pot, I think. If that's the same thing. So let's just commune with this sculptor's idol. And this area is called... The... Feeding Grounds. Yes! Yes, the Feeding Grounds. Okay. So... Let's talk to this guy first. all the broken cages around them. I don't know what he was feeding the fish. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. The bell must be rung. Okay. So let's do just that. So, ring bell. And there's a fish again. And I can use precious bait. There we go. Use precious bait. Use precious bait again. I think I have four of these. Use precious bait once more. And then I can use the truly precious bait. What? Okay. Why did that change? What noble Harunaga's bait? Poisonous, isn't it? Okay, bye. Um, that actually ended that sequence for me automatically. He just went away with that. Okay, so let's just talk to this guy again. Why did you move?
rewarded. Okay, treasure carp scale. Okay, so four treasure carp scale for each time. So one for each time I fed him. And now? Yes, must not grow fast. Yes, he mustn't. In moderation. In moderation. Okay, I don't think I killed the fish. Okay, so that's the same. So let's head back to the Hirata estate now. And see what has changed. So, back to the pot noble. Oh, he actually turned it to... Yes. I think I called it, because that looks like the carp, right? But with red eyes. Okay. But he has red eyes, that looks horrifying. So now the noble Harunaga has changed into a fish. And I can buy more stuff with... Okay, Lapis Lazuli. Um, there's another mask fragment here. And I need two more scales to do that. Send that lapis lazuli. Fountainhead lazulite is a symbol of eternity and anything forged with it will never break nor rust thanks to the blessing of the divine dragon. Tools forged with lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as treasures of the divine dragon. So you can buy two from him as well. But there's also that mask fragment. And I think that will complete my mask. Because that gives us the third mask fragment, if I'm not mistaken. From an old dancer's mask. But I'm missing the scales for that. Notice one more underneath. Too small. Give me more scales. I will, I will, I will. But let's pick up this. And we get Lapis Lazuli from that as well. Okay, great. That's one. So that's used to upgrade our final upgrades for the prosthetic tools. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think there are more scales in this water. I mean, this episode has been going on for long enough, so I'm gonna take a little break right next to our fishy friend here. This is... But this is creepy. This is... This is really creepy. There's a giant fish right here. There is a giant fish that you can talk to right here. And we need more scales, but... Next time we'll probably find a few to finish that off. Because I don't know how many he will need. Because I don't think I can even talk to him anymore further. Because he doesn't have any options anymore. See, he can only purchase things with scales. Because he's too small. Because he really looks like the fish in the Fountainhead Palace now. Because I'm going to assume he's the same one but just grown up at a later point in time. But I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of secret heavy episode, I think. Because this is not the main plot. We also killed the dragon at the very beginning of this episode, if you remember. Because it's going to be quite a big episode, probably. But uh, thank you guys normally for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye!